We are Jordan and Lisa, <laughs> and um, we both attended Sunnyside Christian from kindergarten. We graduated from here, and um, Jordan in 2005, me in 2003, and then we went on to Seattle Pacific University, and we both graduated from there also. Um, I think coming, well, Jordan's dad also attended Sunnyside Christian. My parents were both educated in different Christian schools and attended Christian colleges also, so we have a big history of Christian education in our families and I think part of that has made us so passionate about Christian education because we have seen what it's done for the history of our family and um, as someone who's attended Sunnyside Christian I just wanted to talk about the education that we received we both I think when you're in high school you're not thinking about the education that you're getting you're not thinking about the differences between different places in education we went to Seattle Pacific and um, the first couple days they make you take a bunch of placement tests for different things and I tested I tested out of everything. I tested out of English, I tested out of math, I tested out of Spanish, for goodness sake. I don't know how, <laughs> how I managed that. <laughs> um, but and so that really showed me what a good foundation I had going into college. Um, when we went we had to I don't even remember what do you remember what that class was called that we had to take the basic like the UFAM? University Foundations, and I we went to that, and um, many of the students had attended public schools, and they were talking about test-taking skills and how to take a test in college. And most of the kids in my class had always taken tests on scantrons, which I didn't even know what a scantron was until you went to college, and it's basically just the A, B, C, D, E. And they had never taken tests that you had to answer like essay questions or even like fill in the blank things like that. And I had never taken a test that was all multiple choice. And so it was really, that was really eye-opening to me because I was forced, Mr. Wagner is still here, he, he was brutal to me on my essay questions always and it was very frustrating to me. And I went to college and I could write papers no problem. And so that was hugely beneficial. Jordan graduated um, with a four-year degree in three years with a higher GPA than he graduated from in high school with. And that doesn't happen. I mean, so we had a, we had a really, really great foundation. And um, yeah, our daughter Claire is here now. And let me just tell you, if you ever get an opportunity to observe this popcorn prayer, I <laughs> happened to be in the classroom one day and saw it and, yeah, I like, had to cry about it on the way home. <laughs> and, um, which I blame. I, I have a six-month-old, so I'm still hormonal. <laughs> But we've been so, so blessed in just the two, well, we did do preschool too, but in just the two short years that we've had our kids here, like, it is such a blessing to have your child come home and talk about the things they learned in school and just have it so obviously be about Christ. Mm -hmm. And the conversations, my, I have, we have four children. Um, the two, so Claire's in first grade and Reagan's in preschool here now. And the conversations they have about things that they learn in school from a Christ-like perspective are, I wish I could record them and play them for you because they are so heartwarming. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just so thankful. And Jordan can talk a little bit about why we chose Christian That's education. a good thing. She's right. Some of those conversations those kids have, I'm shocked sometimes at just what they, the base they get at school too and not just at home. And I mean, we try to do some devotions and pray at home every night and things like that. But uh, the big thing for Christian education, I think for us too, was just Jesus is part of your life every day in everything you do. So at school, at church, it's, it's not just on Sunday, it's an everyday thing. And even as adults, even in our church, we talk about trying to be a witness and be a good example to others at work every day, not just on Sunday. I think uh, going through school at a young age, teaching them that, and... Um, Again, like Lauren said, not, and nothing against public schools, either, but just, I think it, for kids too, society in general is sometimes becoming more hostile to Christianity, and it's hard to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. And so for kids to be able to come here and to learn about Jesus every day, you're not judged for being a Christian, you're not um, looked down on, it, it's, I don't want to say it's easier to be a Christian, but it's just, it's a good foundation for them that Jesus is a part of your life every single day and everything you do, like Lauren was just saying too, in math and learning about Noah's Ark and doing the math stuff. I mean, just every part of your life can be, a, Jesus can be involved. 
And uh, I think that's really important for him, for me at least. And uh, I like being able to have my kids have that experience every day. And then you come home and you can talk about it some more. Um, thinking of just some of the parents I've spoke with, uh, family members too, um, just the benefits of Christian school. But uh, like a, my cousin I was just talking to the other week, and he said in his kid's preschool, I think to Whisker and out in Prosser. And, uh, we were talking about just Christian education and that everyday thing of Jesus being a part of your life every day. And um, he was just saying how he's, he's aware. He's like, well, yeah, I know they, they go to the public school here. And I just, Alyssa and I were really hard on, we gotta, we got to be doing devotions every night. we got to be doing all those things. And we got to be doing those things too. But uh, it was just interesting talking to him because he said, I know we got to be pushing that real hard because they're not going to be getting that at school. And it's like, yeah. And so that, anyway, that's a, that's a big important one to me. One thing I've heard from people, too, just in talking with some of my family, too, is sometimes I've heard that comment about teachers. Oh, well, the, the, the good teachers go to public school because, you know, they get, they get paid more at public school. I've heard that argument before. I've always been like, that's confusing me because they all go through the same. Well, Lauren's taught at public school, too, but they all go through the same degree, the same things they get through college. And the Christian school, generally, they don't get paid as much. So what do you think that means? They care about my kid. They care a lot about my kid. It's not just, and oh, there's plenty of public school teachers that care about kids. I mean, I don't think you become a teacher unless you care about kids. My sister is a teacher. Yeah, yeah, she's a right, right. No, no, you don't become a teacher unless you care about kids. But man, I just, I know when I send my kids here, and when I grew up here, went here every day, those teachers cared about you. It and, wasn't just. And, and they still do. I mean, I bring my kids yeah, here, I, and I there's teachers that I had, and they say hi, and they make an effort, and they make a point to like stop and chat with me still. And some of them, of course, I didn't even like like that much when they. Were <laughs> but, like, That's true too. You won't but, like them all. But now as an adult, you can really see like that it made me who I am, right? So I have to appreciate it. <laughs> and just to add on what Jordan was saying, I think I think. As, a, as an adult, it's hard in your life to not compartmentalize your life, right? Like, okay, here's my Jesus box, and here's my home box, and here's my work box. It's hard, it's hard to make all of that into just one Jesus box, right? Which is what life should be. And I think as an adult, so I went through Christian school, went through Christian college, and went to work, and um, I'm an RN, and I worked in Yakima in the labor and delivery, as a labor and delivery nurse. And all of a sudden, that was really the first time in my life that I'd been put in a situation where I wasn't surrounded by all people who had this, I mean, a similar background. When I was in college, I mean, not, not everyone who goes to a Christian college is a Christian. And they, some, especially in nursing school, a lot of people went there because it was a very good nursing program and it wasn't, it had nothing to do with being a Christian school. But then all of a sudden I'm in this situation where, like, my coworkers and a lot of them did not think like me. And then so you're kind of maneuvering how do you, how do you be a Christian and not be obnoxious about it and not be pushy about it, but still be um, setting setting that example and doing that. And I think that's very difficult. And that was difficult for me as an adult. And then, you know, then I'm in labor and delivery, and that's a whole. I mean, there's a lot of drama there. <laughs> and um, but I think so. Then I think putting a child in that situation, like, how are they supposed to deal with it? Of course they're gonna. Of course they're gonna make boxes, right? Because if you're gonna if, if you're going to get made fun of for praying before lunch, you're not going to do that as a kid. Because as adults, it's hard. And so a kid's not going to. And so I think it's nice for us, it's nice to have your kids here where those big things that they, they don't have to stress about it. And then as an adult, then they can start to wrestle with those issues more and more. Which, and we're more prepared as adults. And you're more confident in who you are. And so I think that that for us is a it's really important. Anything else? I think we talked long enough. Okay. <laughs>